In this video, I want to use algebra and technology to solve this problem. So first, let's use algebra. So this is an equation with x's on both sides. So the first thing that you need is to expand the bracket. So this is 8 times x. You have to multiply 8 by x and 8 uh, with minus 2. So this is 8 times x, which is 8x. And 8 times negative 2 is negative 16 plus 6 is equal to, this is 6 times x, which is 6x, and 6 times negative 1 is negative 6, plus 2. So first let us simplify the left-hand side. So this is 8x, this is negative 16 plus 10, plus 6 is negative 10, which is equal to 6x minus 4. Okay, so I'm going to write this as I'm going to solve this like this. So this is 6x plus 2x plus 2x. Uh, I'm going to write this as negative 4, negative 6. I'll tell you what am I doing. So this is 6x, negative 4. Okay. So can you see, I've written this with a reason. Can you see you've got 6x on this side and you've got 6x on this side. So equation is like two sides of a balance. So you've got two 6x six, six and 6x six, six, six and 6x six, six on both sides. You can cancel these 6x. Six, six. Okay. Now you can see this is you've got negative 4 to this side and you've got negative 4 on this side. Okay. So this means what, what can we cancel? We can cancel this negative 4s like this. Okay. So what have we got? This equation now changes to 2x minus 6 equal to what? There's nothing on the right hand side. So how will you write nothing in maths? Nothing in maths is written by 0. 0 means nothing. Okay, so now use your logic. This 2x, 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. So we are saying this is a number. What take away? So you need to ask this question. What take away 6 gives you 0. So this 2x stands for what? So this is what? So well, we know 6 minus 6 is 0. So logically, 2x has to be 6. Okay, so now you need to ask the question, 2x is a number. 2 times what gives you 6? So this 6 is your what? The 6 is your what? So, well, I know 2 times 3 is 6. So, this what has to be 3. That means the answer is 3. So, when x is 3, your left-hand side is equal to right-hand side. So, let's check that. So, let's put your left-hand side is 8 bracket x minus 2 plus 6. So, this is 8 bracket, your x is 3, so 3 minus 2, so let me write 3 minus 2 plus 6, which is, this is 1, so this is 8 plus 6, which is 14. So when x is 3, your left hand side is 14, so what's your right hand side? So your right hand side is, right hand side is 6 times 3 minus 1, x is 3 minus 1 plus 2, which is 6 times 2 plus 2. This is 12 plus 2, which is 14. So this is how you can do it algebraically. So let's use Excel to do the same. So we are going to use Excel. I'm going to enter some numbers here. So I'll say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, so and then you can catch the tail and drag down, so that the Excel understands the formula, so this will go up to 27, okay, and here yeah, I'm going to use Excel, so I'm going to start with equal 8 times, now times in Excel you have to use a star key, times, bracket, your x is this cell, so this is a2 minus 2, plus 6, enter. 
so that's negative 10 and then you catch the tail and drag down so yeah when x is 3 y is 14 the okay, left hand side is 14 so for right hand side you go 6 times this is your 0 which is your x we have to put a bracket to put a bracket here bracket that is a2 minus 1 plus 2 enter and catch the tail and drag down even if you do double click like this it will get you the, all the answers so yeah I will highlight so that I'll make this in red change that to red so that's your answer so when x is 3 your left hand side is equal to right hand side so your answer is 3